In this video, Choi Box Guy will repair a faulty 7 pin power XLR cable. As you can see, several stripped wires are exposed and some solder connections appear to be short circuited. Let's watch as he refurbishes this damaged 7 pin power XLR. AV Network Guy here. During testing, we discovered multiple issues despite the cables being quote unquote certified. Upon further inspection, here's what Choi Box Guy found beneath the connector sleeve. First, he'll remove the connector and clean it by desoldering. He has detached the connector from the main cable and is now removing the remaining wires and solder from the connector. He then warms up his soldering iron and is using lead-free solder. Using a needle nose plier, the model information is in the description, he holds the connector in place. With all the wires disconnected, he cleans the 7 pin connector by removing the leftover solder, ensuring it's ready for reuse. He's melting the solder and knocking it out of the connector's wells. As you can see, it looks pretty clean. The next step is to prepare the cable for re-termination. This involves peeling back the cable jacket Checking the individual wires Ensure the drain or ground wire is neatly twisted
cutting them to the correct length. And stripping off the tip of the six colored wires. Now the six wires in the cable are stripped. Next, he prepares each of the wires in the cable for the connector by tinning them. After tinning the wires, he aligns them to the correct order for soldering to the connector. Soldering can be tricky due to the number of pins and their spacing, but watch Choi Bak Gai's technique. After identifying which pin corresponds to which wire, he proceeds with soldering.
this has to be the most challenging wire to solder. Take a look at the technique he's using. Wow, as you can see, this termination looks much cleaner than before. The exposed wires are much closer to the connector. Let's add the other parts to complete the termination. This part of the connector is meant to cover the soldered wires connected to the cable, while the bottom portion should secure the cable jacket, not the wires themselves. This ensures the cable and wires are properly and professionally secured. The final step is always to test continuity before connecting the cables to their respective devices. Since this is a power cable, you definitely don't want to skip that step. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time.